As soon as I jumped off the bear, I saw two pairs of glowing eyes jumping at me in the dark. Yeah, that's not scary. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survivalist and that I'm an old guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to build ourselves a treehouse. That is the main plan. Uh, so, yeah, as you guys saw in the uh, uh, the little montage at the beginning there, we have ourselves an otter. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to name her um, Otella. I know that's absolutely terrible, and I love it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we got ourselves an otter here. Uh, tame of opportunity. I was down by the river um, with the bear that you also saw me tame, Ben the bear, um, looking for uh, beaver dams and chitin, because uh, I think you need like 600 some mini pays or something like that to make that tree platform. And so, and then I saw the otter go, dang, I'm gonna try and tame that thing, and sure enough, we did it. 
Uh, let's see, what else did we do? We tamed uh, Parappa version 2.0 two, uh, two o here. He just wandered into the yard. He's a 110 raptor in the wild. Um, and then Rapture here, as well as Art, like, you know, Art Carney, get it? <laughs> you have to be old to know what that means or who that is. Uh, these are the two babies that I had captured and um, and grew up. And both of them are 100% are imprinted. So um, Art's already got 10,000 health and 771 melee damage, 1,100 stamina. And yeah, he's uh, he's pretty badass. And even though Rapture is only level 63, he is quite a bit better than the 110 Wild Raptor because uh, of the imprint, right? So so he's already at 3,000. In fact, I haven't even leveled this guy yet. I haven't taken out and done anything. Um, so he's got 3,000 health and 572 melee damage compared to the Wild um, 110, which is now 176, which only has 15. So it's like half the health and less than half the damage. And I have been taking this one out to level. So the imp brain is just super powerful, um, as you can as you can see there. So even though this guy is, uh, what, wait, what? I can't see. Oh, yeah, 63 versus 176 is still a much more powerful animal, which is really cool. Okay, I think that's it uh, for updating you guys. Uh, the other thing I want to do in this episode, too, is I want to take the bear and get some honey. Um, I've gone around and I've marked some honeycombs uh, or hives, I should say, on the map, but it's it, it looks to me like there's enough of them around that I probably don't even need to do that. Um, there's more more around than I thought there was. You, you just they're kind of hard to spot, but they're there, and there's quite a few of them. Um, okay, so let's see. To get started with the treehouse, I hope I don't crash. I've been having some crashing problems as usual, uh, but when I first got on after I got home from the office today, I was like crashing all over the place opening the menu and then all of a sudden it stopped doing it so i don't know what the hell's going on it's 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 just too random i mean it's almost always related to opening menus or inventories but when it happens as opposed to when it doesn't it just seems to be very random so let's see what happens here okay uh, yep we crashed god damn it oh um i i don't know the good news about being on a server is we don't lose any progress whereas when we're in a single player game if we forgot to save then you know we lose we lose uh, progress. So, so at least there's that. So I'll, I'll come back in and we'll try this again. Okay. We're back on the server. We're opening up the menu. We're accessing the Ingrams. And are we crashing? Uh, not yet. Okay. So <laughs> I'm like it's so afraid to open the, the, the menus now. Um just because you never know. All right, let's see if we can get down to the treehouse. Oh, did it crash? Okay, I thought it crashed for a second. There. Uh, down to the treehouse. I'm even afraid to just search it, so we're going to just scroll down. Uh, I don't know how far down it is. All right, let's just risk searching it. Click there. Careful. T-R-E. There we go. Wood tree platform. Um, Yeah, look at that. 600 some mini paste. Very expensive. The rest of that stuff's pretty easy peasy. Learn it. Um, no crashing. Okay, good, good. Uh, we need to, uh, I think I may have a couple of these, but let's learn this too anyways. And I'm not really interested in doing a metal platform, at least not right now, if ever. Okay, close the menu. Are we good? We're good for now. <laughs> okay. Whew, that was scary. All right, so let's go in here. Um, we most likely have to make that in here. Uh, whoops. Uh, and... Yep, we crashed. <clears throat> All right, let's try it again. Open the smithy. Try try in type in tree. Make tree platform. Okay. Now, um yeah, let's grab the platform. Oh, yeah, that thing's heavy. Okay. Close the menu. <laughs> this is terrible. Um, all right. So let's see. Yeah, let me get rid of a couple things, and then I'll show you which tree we're going to pop this in. Oh, by the way, I found this toilet in a drop, and uh, if we sit on it, 
with our otter, don't uh, don't we get a, like a a buff? Oh, I guess we ha we have to actually poop. What's the man? I hate. I'm I'm scared to open the menu. <laughs> what is the keyboard shortcut for pooping? It's not something I normally do in the game. Uh, in real life, all the time, of course. <laughs> Uh, defecate. Unassigned. Oh, okay. Um, let's assign, uh, I don't know, um, page up. Because, you know, page up and poop, they're associated. Don't ask me how. They just are. Uh-oh. Okay. Resume. Okay, page up. That doesn't do anything. Um, it says auto hide enabled when I press that. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll worry about that later. Uh, and by the way, we do have crops out here, so that's cool. Um, each one of our crop plots has about 150. That's I think that's the max it can hold. But I want to leave them in here until I need them because they last a lot longer in the crop plots than they do. Um, you know, in uh, the preserving bin. So until we can get a uh, refrigerator going, we will um, just have to deal with that. Okay, let's go on outside. And uh, it's been a very long time since I've done anything with tree houses in this game. I have kind of messed with them in the past, but I've never actually had a uh, my main base be a treehouse base. I've mostly just kind of used them to set up like tree sap and things like that. So this is the redwood we're going to put the base on because it's the one that's closest to the cliff and should uh, okay uh, should give me well no here this is going to take too long stop following uh, sh uh, what was I trying to say oh give us a, a nice view hopefully it'll give us a nice view over the cliff now I don't I don't want to put it up real high though because the higher up it goes the longer it's going to take for us to get up to it all right so let's place this and can't place no ground or snap point what what do you mean uh why isn't this working are those trees actually too small oh <gasps> but they're redwoods why does that matter as long as they're big redwoods? Oh, maybe they really aren't big enough. That's... I thought all the redwoods were more or less the same size. Okay. Hmm. Well, I wanted it out over the edge of the cliff so we have the view. What about this tree? Okay, it works on that tree. Okay, so yeah, I guess these trees right out here on the edge are not big enough. Who'd have thunk, man? Oh, man, that sucks, because this is the tree I wanted to use. Okay, um, what about this tr What about this guy over here? Yeah, this one would work. Um, I mean, if we put it up that high, we would definitely have a nice view, but man, that'd be a pain in the ass to get up there. It's either got to go there or there. Oh, man, that's a bummer. Okay, well, um, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's see if there are any other redwoods, like, really close to the edge. That, see, that one looks like it's too small as well. Why are all the small trees uh, on the edge of the cliff? Uh, that's what I want to know. What about this one? Okay, it would work on that one, but that's not anywhere near the edge of the cliff. Ugh. This one's going to be too small. What about this one? Okay, that one would work, but again, not near the edge of the cliff. This is the closest tree to the cliff. So, let's place it. Yeah, if we're out over the edge, 
Well, I guess we can we can kind of see the river down that way. So that would be our this would be our our, our viewpoint here. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? That'll work, I guess. I think it would have looked better if if it could have been on the side that was parallel to the you know to the cliff itself, but. This is what we have to work with, so it'll have to do. All right, very cool. Um, now, next order of business is getting up here. So the thing is, is that um, I know I can, you know, do a rope ladder and all that, but that's going to take a long time to get up and down. A. And B, we can't take critters up. What the hell? Fucking Trudon. Um. It's probably going to knock me out. Here, let's take one of these quick. Okay, um. What was I saying? It's going to take a long time to get up there, but we're also not going to be able to take critters up there to offload. Which means we're probably going to want to build a ramp up there. But let's start with a, a rope ladder. Uh, here we go again. Cross your fingers, everybody. Don't lock up, please. Rope ladder, careful. <laughs> this is terrible, man. Okay, so far so good. Close the menu. Everybody's cool. Okay, now we got to open it up again to make the rope ladder, though. Let's go in here. I'm going to put this here and put it here so we have a little bit of light. Haven't really bothered with putting lights in here because this is a temporary setup. All right, so I imagine for rope ladders, we're going to need fiber. And by the way, that bear gets a freaking crazy amount of fiber. Uh, I'm sure we're going to probably need wood. And I don't know what else it's going to want, so let's take a look. Careful. <laughs> Open a menu. Um, let's carefully type in rope. Let's track it. And let's put the Ingram down here so we don't have to open the menu to make it. It's thatch. Okay. Are we good? Okay, open a menu. Grab some thatch. Everybody's cool, right? All right. So I guess, um, at least for the moment, let's have the rope go up uh, on this side. And I don't know how long these are, so I don't know. Let's make a few, and then we'll see what we're dealing with here. Careful. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting. We've got that inventory menu toolbar thingy. Can't place rope ladder, no snap point. Uh, what, what do you mean no snap point? Now, now what the hell? Dude. Don't hit the dimorph. Did I just hit the dimorph? Where? Where'd he go? Why am I moving so... Oh, I'm still pretty heavy, that's why. Hold still, you little... You're still alive? Damn. What? Where are you? I hold still. He went. <laughs> I can't move very fast. There you go. I killed your ass. Did we get all of our stuff back? Uh. Where's his body? Oh, right here. Okay. 
How does he have dye in his inventory? That is weird. Okay, let's get rid of him so he doesn't attract hyenodons or something. I don't care about dye. At least not right now. Okay, so anyway, back to this. Why do we not have a snap point on the platform? I'm confused again. Do I jump? Okay, let's fly up there. Maybe we have to start it from up, up above. I do not remember these being such a pain in the ass the last time I used them, but that was in Survival Evolved, so... Uh, no. Go here. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's climb the ladder. Go down, but not too far down. And then just start putting them in place. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess there's not enough room for that. Oh, that's interesting. It didn't snap right in the middle. Hmm. Okay, here. Let's get back on the ladder. So the center is right... Yeah, right here. So it... Why? What the hell? Okay, here. Can I... If I pick this one ladder up, it should theoretically pick them all up, right? Yes. Okay, now can I put it in the center? All right. Well, if that's the case, then I think I want to... I think I want to put it then on the corner. Instead of... Because it's just kind of was in a weird spot there otherwise. Oh, you need a saddle. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, I lost him again. It's really dark right now. As if I needed to tell you guys that. You probably can't see a damn thing. Yeah, I mean... I guess I like that better. I, I, I wished it would snap right in the center, but for whatever reason, the weirdness of arc building, it does not. Yeah, see, that takes a little while to get up here. Um, I think we're going to want to try and build some kind of a ramp system up here, both so, well, mainly so that we can uh, get critters up here uh, for offloading and just to get up here more quickly. Or, I mean, I guess we could just use Argentavis. You know, I guess we could do that, huh? Just make sure we have Argents available. Um, we also have, of course, the possi uh not the possibility, but we could use elevators too, but they're, they're sort of kind of slowish. And we're not quite, you know, there yet anyway. All right, well... I'm going to have to give some thought to how I'm going to put this together, and that's not something I'm probably going to do on camera. Uh, or at least maybe I'll give it, you know, get a, a, a general idea of what I want, and then maybe we could do a little bit of building in the next episode. I don't know. But um, what we're going to do now is we're going to um, go get some hunting. And... Uh, Oh, and some sap, too. In fact, here, let's, um, let's go in here, open the menu and put some of this stuff back because it's very heavy. Well, not very heavy, but heavy, heavy enough, right? Get rid of that. Um, 
I guess I am... Here, this goes back down here. Don't need to be carrying two hatchets with me. Uh, what am I doing? I wanted to see if we have... A, oh, sap, right. Okay, sorry. I'm a little, little scatterbrained. Um, what does this need? Stimulant, fiber, honey, rock. Yeah, we can make all that. Uh, or we have all that except for the honey. So, uh, but, sap. Yeah, right. So I have two sap thingamadoodles. Now, in... I don't... You know what? Part of the thing might be that... Get out of here. Part of the thing might be, now that I think about it, is that I think I've always used S plus tree platforms and, and taps and stuff in the past. And so that might be why it's a little weirder to me. But the thing is, is with S plus tree saps, you can put four of them on a single tree. Can you do that with the vanilla ones? I don't know. We're going to find out. You can. Beautiful. Okay. Those aren't necessarily going to stay there, uh, especially when we start building. But uh, we're going to keep them there for now. Oh, you know what I think the difference was with the S Plus now? Think about it. I think there was more spots in here for, for sap, whereas there's only a single spot for uh, the vanilla ones. Easy sap. Contains any sap that has been extracted from the tree over time. Okay, so I don't know how long it takes um, for for these to start filling up. I don't remember. All right, let's come to here. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna devise a some kind of a ramp. Uh, what the hell is that? Everything around here wants to eat me. Uh, some kind of a ramp system to get up there. Or, well, again, or like I said, just use RGs. I don't know. I'm Like I said, I'm a bit scatterbrained. Sorry. It's been a long day. Um, after I'm finished recording this, I'm going to bed. So, <laughs> Oh, let's run over and grab that uh, drop. See, I, I hesitate to build over here because I don't want to block this drop. It's so convenient to have it just right there in the backyard, you know? All right. What do we get? Uh, ooh, that's decent, I guess. Some Kaylee and soup. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll take that stuff. Obvi you know, honestly, though, not that good. <laughs> I guess, <coughs> excuse, excuse me, I guess the, <coughs> the fur cap's not terrible. Okay, so, in order for us to get honey on a bear, we're going to have to build a ramp up to the tree because the hives are too high up in the tree for the bear to reach. Why don't we pump your health up until you get to 5,000 at least and probably even beyond that. Now, my understanding is that if we use the bear, we will not get attacked by bees. Or more, maybe or what the deal is is that the bees will attack the bear and the bear doesn't give a shit, but they don't attack us. I don't know. I don't have any ghillie made up. Um, so we're going to try it without that and see what happens. <laughs> uh, here we go again. Uh, I hate opening the menu. Can't We should be able to just put down a pillar and then put a ramp on the pillar, I would think. Um... Have I even learned pillars? Whoops. I haven't. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we're going to have to go on the anger menu again. Here we go. Cross your fingers, everybody. Okay, seems to be behaving so far. Wood pillar. Hey, knock that off. Okay, so that's all we need for that. Um, what about a wood ramp? Yeah, let's learn that too. Okay, good. Now, let's grab some wood. Some 
thatch and some fiber. And that should be enough for us to build a few pillars and a few ramps. Excellent hay. Alright, let's take a drink. And let's take a bite. Or three. And we're going to take Ben over to a beehive. Uh, if I look on the map, the closest... Yeah, we've got a couple. We, we got two hives on that tree and then one just almost dead ahead. We just got to turn this way a little bit, right? Yeah, okay. Get out of here. Okay, so it's just up the hill a little bit here. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so let's do this. Let's, um... Take one of these so we don't pass out. As soon as I jumped off the bear, I saw two pairs of glowing eyes jumping at me in the dark. Yeah, that's not scary. Okay, let's get rid of this boulder here. Scorpion. Oh, wait. We're not even hitting it. Okay, you know what? Let me get turned around here, you bastard. Okay. Uh, how's our torpidity? It's dropping. Okay. Come on, guys. I'm trying to uh, get some honey on and record my video here. Guys are being rude. Okay, so there's the hive right there. Can we... Can we put one more off the... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, that should work. I'll probably just keep these pillars and ramps on the bear. Okay, here goes nothing. Wait. Oh, look at that. They don't even give a shit. Oh, we only got 15 honey, though. Okay. Well, fair enough. Very nice. Okay. And it looks like it lasts for about four hours in the bear's inventory, but I think, isn't that normal anyways? All right, now, if we just pick this up, do we get the whole kit and caboodle? Uh, we do. Nice. I like it. All right, let's remove this waypoint. How do I remove it? Uh, here we go. Delete. Okay. All right, now there's two more hives over here. We'll we'll still eventually um, try and find ourselves um, a queen bee. This bear is really good at getting wildflowers too, by the way. I got a whole mess of wildflowers down by the swamp. Um, you know, so we can have our own hive. But in the meantime, you know, there's enough of these around here that I think we can just gather it as we need it with the bear, which is cool. And then you know, once we turn them into to sweet veggie cakes, then the veggie cakes themselves will last even longer than the honey. But we need to prioritize getting a refrigerator going here pretty soon, too. Okay, one of these trees has two, two beehives on it. Uh, right there. Okay. We got 15 honey out of that one. You know, the other thing that's cool about this is it doesn't appear to... It doesn't destroy the hive either. So we can come back and farm these later once they refill. I like that. Wait, is that 150? No, it's just 50. I was going to say, is that a 50 or 150? That would have been nice. I would have tried to tame it. 
Okay, so we have a total of 45 honey now. It's a beautiful thing. Um, as I've mentioned to you guys multiple times now, I played, uh, I did a series on the Fjorder map, and honey was so easy to get on Fjorder. There were these stones that had honeycombs in them, and you just harvested the stone, and you got a buttload of honey. It was pretty nice. But uh, this is going to be easy, too. This is not hard to do at all. Get yourself a bear, make a couple ramps, go to town. Uh, we might even be able to get enough honey just by gathering it in the wild without even having to do a beehive. But it would still be nice to make a beehive. Okay, now, let's check something here. If we, if we look in the bear's inventory, that honey will last 3 hours and 56 minutes. What does it last in here? Nine hours. Oh, nice. Okay. So that's not bad. That's definitely enough for for this to keep until we can get some sap going for sure. I likey. I likey. All right. You know what we're going to do is we're going to go check the sap here in just a little bit. But I want to set up a generator and a refrigerator. And I think we have, hopefully we'll have everything we need to do that. So, um, and I think I'll put the generator up here on a, on a, on a ceiling just to get it up out of the way. Do I have a ceiling? I don't. So let's, yeah. Okay. Let's make ourselves a stone ceiling. Oh, also, uh, we're going to keep that stuff in the bear's inventory he, he's just gonna always keep that uh, all the time just gonna never take it out except for when I need to use it of course let's get a couple of resources out of you uh, that's fairly decent cloth but this is crap I don't have a grinder yet of course okay you know what I'll worry about that later all right so we want to make um a ceiling uh, so we need a little bit of stone here I could have sworn I had a stone ceiling already, but I guess I don't. You know what might look better is... Is quarter. Uh, I don't know. The, the generator might stick out too far if we did that. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess we can't put that right in the center, can we? All right, well, anyway, this is a temporary base, like I keep saying, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, now, um, here we go again. Ingram menu. Don't crash, please. We need to learn the Jenny. And we need to learn the fridge. And I do have gasoline made up. Cool. Okay. So, um, let's see. We know we're going to need metal, so let's just grab a bunch of ingots and throw them in here. We know... Uh, well, let's just put some wood, fiber, and thatch in here, in, yeah, in here because... Special meat delivery? Oh, well, I guess the raptor ate. <laughs> um, hold Q. Here, let's let's put that back on the belt. Sorry, I forgot about the light, guys. I'll try and brighten it up a little bit in editing. Um, what were we saying? Okay, so here, let's do it this way. Let's go... No, we can't do it from here. If we go to... Let's track that and track this. Okay, so we're going to need to make some electronics... I think we already have some normal polymer, and we definitely have crystal. Just grab all that crystal. We can make polymer if we have to with the, this obsidian. Uh, grab all the pearls. Got the metal. Okay, we'll put those in there. I don't think we need chitin inside of here for anything that I can think of off the top of my head. And then if I 
had polymer, I guess I would have it in here. So, you know, I I use organic polymer all the time. I don't even remember how to make polymer. I know we I know we use. Oh, I think it's I think it's cementing paste. Yeah, and obsidian. Okay, and we do it in the fabricator. Gotcha. Okay. So let's just put all of this obsidian in there and all of the cementing paste in here. Okay, I think we have all the ingredients that we need. Um, I, I just want to fill it up before I turn it on to save gas. Not that that matters. I guess we have plenty of gas. It's not that big of a deal. Electronics. And that requires just metal and pellet pearls. Okay, cool. Uh, turn it on. Very good. All right, so we need 20 electronics in total. Excellent, and we're going to need 15 polymer. You know, since we are near obsidian, uh, we actually have obsidian just on the Red Peak right up the hill from where we are. Plus, we have the volcano across the river. We're probably going to make more normal polymer than organic because organic's not easy to come by in quantity. However, the bear is supposed to be very good at collecting organic polymer, according to um, Dota Dex. So I guess we could, you know, take him to the Arctic. We'd have to get a Quetzal to carry him, though. All right. Now we should be able to make this. And this. Oh, it's a beautiful thing, you guys. Beautiful. Okay. Let's turn that off. We'll stick you guys down here. A uh, little lag there. Cool. Okay. Let's put the this guy up here. Um, which direction are you facing? Yeah, that's. I think that's correct. Yeah. All right. And then let's grab half of the fuel out of you. Can I reach the? There we go. Put that in there. Turn it on. Actually, you know what? Um, let's put even more, a little bit more fuel in there. Hit the wrong button. Okay, so now, where are we going to put the fridge? This is kind of my kitchen area. Um, if we put it here... Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit crowded, but I could still get to that other preserving bin. That that other preserving bin is just currently making, um, whatchamacallit, uh, prime jerky. Oh, <laughs> the wrong way. Whoopsie. Okay. Rotate. There we go. Okay, that's even better because it's a little bit narrower even. So let's put it right there. And it should be, yep, it says it's powered because uh, we have wireless power. And everything that's in here except for jerky making stuff. So that would be oil, spark powder, and cooked. Oh, we need to make more cooked meat. Can now go in here. Okay, I want to look at something. Um, what was the honey in here again? It was 9 hours and 36 minutes. In here it is 4 days. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, what is this in here? 37 days. Right? 49, 37. Yeah, 37 days. Nice. Okay, cool. And what about this? This will last five five days. Yeah, very nice. Um, carrots will last nine hours. But you know what? Now that we have the refrigerator, 
We should start... Well, here, let me check something. The potatoes last 23 hours inside of there. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter, though. Um, here, I can't see it. We still want to har harvest them so that we can make more, right? So we still, you know, either way, we want to do it that way. We want to get the seed out of there, too. And then I can put another dookie in there. Or fertilizer if one's ready. Uh, open. There we go. Cool. All right. We are moving up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. We're probably not big enough yet to... Here we go. Cross your fingers. Yowzers. Are we big enough to make a cooking thingamadoodle? Not yet. We have to be 89. Okay. So we're going to have to deal with the cooking pot until we get to level 89. Let's go see if we have uh, some sap now, because if we do, we can make start making some sweet cakes. Uh, yeah, this can go in here. I don't know if we do yet. I'm not sure how long it takes. Hey, look at that. 12 sap. That's not bad. What's it only been 20 minutes, maybe, since we set those up? I like it. Okay, so let's throw the sap in here and go to consumables, vegetables. Can we track that? All right, let's grab ourselves some fiber. We'll just... Well, the thing is, is we can't keep a ton of stuff in here because there's not a lot of room. We're going to have to remove everything that, except for what it requires and one thing of water. Um, honey, corn, carrots, sap, right, and potatoes, and, and this stuff. Okay. Honey, corn, carrots, potatoes. Oh, and wood. Yeah, because we need we need wood to, for the fire. Okay, I don't want auto craft because then it'll start making a bunch of dyes. Um, light fire, consumable vegetables, and how come it doesn't tell me how many we can craft? Oh, we can only craft one because of this. Okay, no problem. fact here. Let's uh, take the empties out, put those in. Take that out. Once this next one goes, we'll have an empty jar and then we can replace it with this jar. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, this cooking pot's a pain in the ass to use. <laughs> the, the industrial cooker is so much nicer. I wonder if we can make the grill now. That would be nice, too, because I need to make some more meat. Okay, so we should be able to make three more of these. Yep, we queued up three more. Beautiful. Okay. Um, What's going on in here? Nothing. We're just making charcoal. So let's grab uh, that much meat. Throw that in there so I can start cooking so we can keep making jerky. What's going on in this further one? Yeah, we still have 27 pieces in there. I'm going to have to do another oil run up north here fairly soon. Cool. Okay. We'll refill our water jars. And I keep all but one in here. In fact, we can, we can actually, we should be able to make the canteen now, which we should do. Grab that, grab that. Uh, the wood can stay in there, and the fiber can stay in there. Put out the fire. Okay, so in the refrigerator, these veggie cakes will last 16 days. It's a beautiful thing. It is a absolutely fantabulous, beautiful thing. Um, I want to actually make some more healing tonic, so let's grab some Tentos. I 
right, fire, consumables, crafted foods, and just queue up some of those. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. I think um, we are going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And what the tentative plan will be for the next episode is for us to probably go see if we can find an office now that we can actually tame one. And um, also, you're kind of a nice looking dotic. Oh, level 20, damn it. Um, and also, we need to start doing some building here, too, on the treehouse. And But like I said, I need to kind of play with that a little bit, give a little bit of thought as to how that's going to go. Uh, I'm still kind of thinking about doing a ramp up there. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we can certainly make it work with the Arge because Arge is, you know, they can carry a decent amount of weight. It's just that I have to transfer shit twice, you know, and I don't have... You are a really nice looking dotic. Uh, I don't have, you know, S plus to pull. So it's just double the work. So because of that alone, uh, I'm really thinking a ramp. So we can just drive the animals right on up there to offload stuff. So we'll see. Um, you know, the on the other hand, though, the Argent can carry the dotic and the Anki. So we could load them up as long as we don't make them too heavy. And the arch can just carry them straight up there. And the beaver. So that would take care of wood, stone, metal, that sort of thing. So, yeah, maybe, I don't know. We'll we'll try and see if we can make it work with, with just the arch. And if, if I'm just not happy with it, then we'll make a ramp. Okay, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>